Okay, well, we're on our last one. It's number seven. We want to construct a parallel line to this line, but through this point. So essentially, right where my pencil is. Now, a lot of students get worried about this one because when they finish, the lines don't look too parallel. Well, that's because you're using a, a dollar or two compass and using an ID for a straight edge. But don't worry about it. We're really looking for the construction marks. Now, we also remember that from just our last discussion, that when lines are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. And by the converse, if corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines must be parallel. So we're actually going to construct two corresponding angles that are congruent, and that will make our lines parallel. First thing we have to do is make a transversal. Now, you really want to make sure that your transversal, yeah, it intersects this line, but I really need a lot more room up here. I'll show you why in a second, because when I create my corresponding angles, I get to choose this, 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 or this, and I'm going to choose this little one right here to put up here. So the thing I got to do is I've got to get this compass set, and practice makes perfect, but I've got to get it where I can make an arc coming off this point and coming off this point, and I don't want too small of an arc because these don't close very well. So I put my point here and I make my arc. Now this arc is equidistant from this point here. I need to make the same type arc from this point, and so I don't adjust my compass. And there you go. Check it out. I'm ready to make corresponding angles congruent. What I have to do though is copy this angle up here. So like in the construction that we did where we made a congruent angle, I'm going to copy the amount of arc and make this little mark right here. If I can get this on camera where you can see it, I want to prove that I measured that amount of arc by making a little um, scribe right there. And then I'm going to go up. Now I measure from the top arc to the bottom. So I need to go from this top arc, not this point, this top arc right here and measure the same amount by scribing again an arc. Okay. Now that intersection is a point and that's the given point. And these two points when connected should make a line that's parallel because I will have this angle equaling this angle. When corresponding angles are congruent, the lines will be parallel. And hopefully they're fairly parallel. Yeah, not too bad. So, what am I looking for? Transversal. Arc. Arc. Equidistance from the point. Measure from top to bottom, top to bottom. Connect the two points and you've got a fairly parallel line. Not too bad. Yours will be pretty much like this. If you have a really sharp pencil and you do a really, really careful job, the lines will be much more parallel looking. But I'd give an A to this one.